Chapter 6. Arrays and Array Lists. List of friends who like my post. Attendance list. A list of game items. Storing variables in a list is very useful in Java. Java has several ways of keeping a collection of data. Here are the two most popular ones. Array. Array list. First, array. Arrays have slots to store multiple objects of the same type. This is how you declare an array. First, put object type with brackets. Array name, then equal sign followed by new, object type with array length in brackets, and followed by semicolon. This array is called soda array and has five slots to store string objects. The slots have index numbers assigned to them, which starts from zero. The values in the array are called elements. Let's assign some values to the empty slots. Fill up the soda array by assigning each slot with string values. Soda array at index zero is assigned Coke. Soda array at index one is Dr. Pepper. Soda array index two is Pepsi. Soda array index three is Sprite. Soda array index four is Fanta. Print soda array at index two. What is the output? It's Pepsi. You can also easily declare and assign the value in one line like this. Is there a way to easily retrieve how many slots are there in an array? Yes. Use dot length to get the number of slots or length of the array. Length of an array can be accessed with array name dot length with no parentheses. How do you access the last element in an array that you don't know the length of? Would this line of code get the last element? No. Length gives you number of elements in an array. However, the index number begins with zero. So the last index is one less than the total length. So this code tries to fetch an element that doesn't exist. This produces array index out of bounds exception error. Let's debug the code. Mystery array dot length minus one index will access the last element. 